Let's compare her style with Sinji's style. Right. I always like to do. <gasps> On SD, my right. beloved. <laughs> All right, now John Numbers certainly no stranger to the Pac-Man matchup. Here in here in New York, we've got quite a few notable Pac-Men. We had a Pac-Men team over in Saga, so definitely a lot of Pac-Men here. So I'm excited to see that you know an out region Pac-Man kind of see us uh, stacking up against New York's uh you know Pac-Man veterans definitely. Yeah, no and. John Numbers uh, certainly with a really strong showing at the start, but BC is starting to bring things back into his favor. Nice snare out of shield. Yeah, he's he definitely way more approachable, or he approaches way more than maybe Sinji's Pac-Man, which is nice to see. You know, the very a very different kind of style. And now, how Numbers, how would John like you know um, adapt his kind of situation where now we have a more aggressive Pac-Man playing on, on the field? Yeah, so far we haven't really seen that sort of that same sort of like hydrant camping that we typically see, uh, like we've seen from Sinji early on in the stream. Yeah, because right now we have numbers. I mean, I mean, the first game you can, you can kind of use as a way to gauge how how your opponent plays, and I think that's as what numbers may, might be doing with this first uh, with this first game, maybe even the first stock. Just kind of see, okay, well, how does uh, BC play typically? as a Pac-Man from out of state, you know, or out of region. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the water from the hydrant messing up the header a little bit. That was kind of funny. Water from the hydrant is such a funny character. I'm not quite going to kill it quite yet. <gasps> it went right through Ooh, the soccer ball. that's super untackable. So John Numbers with the first stock right now. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I keep thinking this is so close to my face. All right, great patience by John Numbers. Not going to be getting up into these uh, these fire hydrants. BC with some really good empty movement right there on the right side of the stage, but not able to not able to phase John at all. Oh, absolutely not. John is more than confident in this kind of matchup, and honestly, the fact that he's able to um, just kind of use like uh, what, he, what he knows as we fit, gain deep breathing. Gang sun citations completely charged up is something that he just knows that he's able to capitalize on, and especially if BC just hasn't played against Wii Fits often, it's gonna be a surprise for him when he sees a lot of these John numbers like th three kills with deep breathing to death. Uh, combos he's able to do sometimes. <gasps> that was so sick. <laughs> no way. That was the longest snipe in the world. Oh, he just casually, casually grabs the apple. I love that. Yep, and still alive. All right, using the apple to cover his recovery, but John Numbers is going to be caught by the down air. Mm -hmm. Right now, BC right only has, only has on his last stock, and John Numbers kind of really relaxing uh, with the stock lead and only five percent percent to his name. But right now, you know, oh, well, he has to learn. Do not He's try numbers. Oh, He's yeah, fine. he does have the trampoline. But again, that could be really lethal. Don't you know? Don't try John Numbers off the ledge because you know ledge is friend. Ledge is friend. <laughs> I really like BC's. You know, Trying to use this yeah, there pressure it is. right now, and there we go. No trampoline to save you. I really like how John Numbers has been approaching the uh, the fire hydrants problem, in that he really kind of hasn't been approaching it. You know, we we saw a couple of times in that first game, BC set up the hydrant, tried to go for that sort of you know Pac-Man issue where you're on the other side of the hydrant. This was so cool. Now look at this. This was so cool. Boom. The, the 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 most planned out like I know that's crazy the fact you, you can plan that out so far ahead in advance knowing that your opponent has to kind of drift to the away from the ball and the ball is just gonna go towards the opponent. Mm -hmm. But I mean, when BC has tried to set up these hydrant situations, mm -hmm. you know, John has just kind of gone to the other side of the stage and set up deep breathing. You know, he's able to get those resources back. Deep breathing, a fully charged sun salutation. <laughs> Another just forward tilt grab the fruit. And, you know, BC just hasn't really found an answer to that yet. You know, trying to get John Numbers to play the Pac-Man game plan of, you know, wanting him to hit the, hit the hydrant, run into, you know, the fruit or things like that. John Numbers just isn't playing that game. He's, he's just vibing on the other side of the hydrant. Where he kind of likes to be, you know? And, oh my god, that bell is a little bit too close to both of them. <laughs> It's like when when you and someone else at the grocery store just both go for the same thing. You're yeah. like, 
And you, you, you'd, be, you'd be nice and just back off. Yeah. But, um... Oh, that's a scary position for BC to be in. Honestly, picking up Kalos as a counter pick for BC is very interesting on, like, very interesting in general. Just like, oh, hello? Hello? Okay. Very yeah. interesting in general, just because, you know, it's very similar to FD, like, mechanics-wise in terms of the stage, but just so, some extra platforms, and there's no under the stage because it's a platform, it's a pillar stage. So, numbers can't really do too many things off the stage like it usually does, kind of underneath to avoid a lot of, like, the hydrant and, um, and Z-jumping projectiles, but... Oh, oh my god, the bell. Just waiting it out. I also feel like, you know, John Numbers is, uh, ooh. No, not Just quite, surprisingly. Me. Yeah, Pac-Man down are pretty strong. Ooh, BC tried to mix up his timing, but, you know, you haven't given John a reason to let go of shield yet, other than just being there. Yeah. But the uh, cross stage key going to be taken. John Numbers' is first stock, finally. 58% on the board for BC. I just saw um, we fit crouch on the platform, and I kind of helps John out a lot, knowing, oh my god, the, 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 the fact that the platform, he can just, oh, oh my gosh. You saved John, because he directional air dodged. He would have died. He would have Absolutely. died. He was so far below the stage. But people tend to get greedy when they want to fight against John. They want to you know, make a point that, hey, I can take out your stock right now. And then you end up kind of just helping him get back on stage. Yeah. Yeah, these ledge interactions have just really never gone in BC's favor, other than the one down air. But yeah, I mean, it really feels like right now John has the Pac-Man game plan figured out. And BC just hasn't been able to switch things up enough. You know, really find that sort of style... Oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> Had her get knocking Pac-Man out of that side B. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I thought he was gonna get hit by the uh, by the uh, the John is again. using the trampoline too. That was a lot of hits on things. <laughs> that was a lot of hitting sounds, grabbing the key and just knocking it right back at BC. Yeah, no, John's confidence against the the Pac-Man game plan right now. I feel like he's caught almost every single fruit that has been tossed his way, just with an, an F tilt. Oh, okay. Yeah, John looking for that yep. grab, but the beer reverse sun salutation. John showing that he he is well versed in the Pac-Man here at Xeno. Yep, and sending BC over to fight over in uh, the losers bracket. Yeah, that. I, I mean, I mean, the beer reverse sun salutation was really clutch. I'm not gonna lie. It was. It was super clutch. <clears throat> Cause I was pretty, yeah, I think the reason they did the uh, BC chose the stage as counterpick is solely because it's a, it's a pillar stage, so you can definitely capitalize on the fact that your opponent can't really escape the um, the hydrant if they are directly un underneath it, you know? BC hitting John Numbers out of that directional air dodge was, that was maybe awful. the most tragic thing this set. Mm hmm <coughs> God. But the B-Reverse Sun Salutation is so funny. It was. Like, yo, that's cool. <laughs> like, I, I, honestly, hitting a B-Reverse is so cool. I think Emily mm -hmm. can do it like flawlessly. You're cool. You're really cool. <laughs> You're a cool kid. You're a cool kid.